Welcome to the Superstition Mountains. Some say the gateway to hell. The Apaches once called this the land of the Thunder God. The Jesuits and the Spanish believed it was cursed. When darkness falls, the foolish stay, the wise retreat. What will you do? This is the place that lures you in, that gets you comfortable, and then kills you. Forty-four people. Forty-four people. That's kind of hard to even fathom. The last time I heard about 44 people getting rescued was maybe a mine failure of some type, mine cave in. When does 44 people get rescued from the Superstition Mountains? You know, that's not that odd when you really look at the history. The Superstition Mountains are known to be the most brutal mountain ranges anywhere in the United States. And a lot of it has to do with the geology, right? Of how that mountain was formed five to eight million years ago. And it was a lot higher and the cauldrons of, of, the, of the water came down. And this place creates its own, its own weather. How does that even happen? How can you be in a place that can snow and it's 120 degrees? Now those people that had to be rescued, they weren't, they weren't your average people. They were fitness instructors. They came out here at three o'clock, tried to go up, siphon draw, and every one of them had to be rescued. 44 people, because that's the Superstition Mountains and that's what you get out here. You never know what you're going to get out here. You never know what kind of weather you're going to get. You know, you can you can look at the uh, the map or, or, or go to the weather and all of a sudden it says no chance of, of rain. And I'll be damned if you don't get in a rainstorm and you can't believe it. It's been this way since man first recorded history. You know, the Jesuits, uh, the Spanish came through here and the, 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 the Spanish named this the superstition because they would, they would come out here and they were looking for the lost gold of Cibola, right? And they went to the Apaches to try to find it. And what happened was somebody would wander away from the camp and they would disappear. So it was the Spanish that decided that this was going to be called the superstitions, right? And so this place even to the natives, they used to call it the land and the home of the thunder gods. Some of them say, even said it was the this is the this is the gateway to hell. Now these were the people that lived here. This was way before any of the white men ever showed up. When Pauline Weaver came, that was the first white man that showed up here. But before that, this place had always been known for how dangerous it was. Again, how many places are there it could be snowing and one season it's drought and one season it's 120 degrees. There's no place else in the world like this. And we're not even getting into the to the lost Dutchman or the gold. We're the ones that named this way before there was a lost Dutchman, way before there was any of the rumors of basically gold here. Now the funniest thing about this area is is a cauldron basically and that means that the water flows down to the center and uh, so what that means is there's a lot of flash flooding that happens this is one of the few places in the world also that create their own weather you know you have you have extreme heat 
you have extreme cold it snows here it can be 120 degrees here where else in the world can you go where that happens and you come out here thinking that you're going to sweat to death and then you end up dying of hypothermia because you froze to death that night right over this hill right here is called the massacre grounds and the massacre grounds were where the Peralta family they came here to mine their famous mining family from Sonora Mexico and the legend goes that they had found a mine right on the other side over there and that they were coming through and the Apache had already told them they didn't want them here and so when they didn't heed their warning there was a massacre right there and there were 80 to 100 mules that supposedly that the uh, saddlebags were filled with ore and that that's what the lost Dutchman found when he came through here was that saddlebags full of ore and that's where he got his money now the Apache as the legend goes killed 398 people right over that ridge Two of those people escaped. One died on the way back to Mexico. One came back. Now, they were going to come back, but then the Gadsden Purchase had been. Where the Gadsden Purchase was basically that the United States bought this land from Mexico. So then the Mexicans had no rights to be able to mine here anymore. The thing about the geology of the Superstition Mountains is this. There's no gold here. Now, what I like to call the, the circle of wealth wraps around this area, right? And the circle of wealth will go into Goldfield over here, which they have found gold, which a lot of people believe that that is where Jacob's Waltz, his gold was, was from Goldfield. You know, some people think that he, he, he stole the gold from the Vulture Mine in Wickenburg, uh, which is probably more true than false. Uh, but you also have gold from Superior to Miami, uh, to the Silver King, the Silver Queen mine. All these mines around this area basically had precious metals, but none here. So why would 60 people be murdered out here for gold that didn't exist? Well, that's the rumor and the legend that we're all out here to figure out. Because everybody believes that they're a little smarter. Everybody believes there's, they, they've got the map. Everybody believes that they've, they've got the Google. They've Google mapped this, right? And everybody will tell you on the internet, I know where it's at. But, but nobody gets their ass out here because this place is deadly. This place will kill you. You know, there's powers out here I can't explain. And I've been out here for 20 years. You know, there's not a lot of old Dutch hunters around anymore. And uh, it's pretty fascinating to see some of the people that are really out here because there still are people that look like they're mining back in 1869. It's unbelievable when you go out to the middle, you still see things here that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> you know, when I, when, I, when I hike out here at night, I'd have to have a pretty damn good reason. I'll leave it at that. This is one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been in my life, and I know it's the most deadly. It almost took my life, and I'm still drawn to it. You know, people see lights out here. I mean, a lot of people believe that this is a portal. To, to the other side. The Indians believed it was a portal to the other side, similar to the portals in Sedona. They believed they have that same type of power. All the Indians believed that there was these portals that would take you to the other side. And these stories are still around of, uh, of lost gold. And You know, there's uh, Ted de Grazia, the famous painter. If you don't know him, look him up. He loved this place and he brought millions of dollars worth of paintings out here and burnt some of them because he didn't like what the government was doing uh, with the taxes and then he supposedly hid millions of dollars worth of paintings now if you listen already we've only been doing this for a little bit and listen what do you hear helicopters 
there's one right there now I can't tell you that somebody that got lost out here but I can tell you it's just odd you always see helicopters out here and there ain't nothing out here and it ain't a shortcut to get anywhere because there ain't nothing out here so what are they doing out here I don't know You know, the Spanish, you know, they were afraid of this place. And the Apaches didn't want to live here either, you know. We're standing on the very ground that Geronimo walked, okay. All these legendary hunters. And they all had the respect of this place, that, that this place was something not to be messed with. And uh, they all had the same type of respect for this, for this ground. And you know, at one time, even Oak Flat was probably a part of what was considered the superstition. But when you get across the rim, it turns into pines. When you get across the rim, it turns into, you know, a lot even rougher terrain than this.